Okay guys, that wasn't it for my favorites video. I also have TV favorites and music favorites. Now, for the TV shows, as I said in the beginning of the video, I... Bitch. Okay. <laughs> I have become obsessed with a lot of TV shows. I... Okay, this is when my fangirl side takes over. This is show is Revenge. And Revenge was actually recommended to me, like, before winter break, 2013, because, uh, like, and then I just never started it. And then I actually started it possibly a few weeks ago, and I'm already caught up, because that's how much I really like the show. It is amazing. It is about this woman named Emily Thorne. She goes to the Hamptons in New York, and she seeks revenge on a rich, popular, elite family that lives next door to her. Now, why does she want revenge? Because that very same family framed her father for a crime that he did not commit more than 10 years ago. And because of that, he had to spend his entire life in prison before he died. And, um, and because of, and also because of that, it, Emily's life got ruined because she, she had no fault, like, her father was gone, she, her, her mother, she didn't have really a mother, it's a long story, and she didn't really have any relatives, so she jumped from foster home, and then she ended up in juvie, it, it's, it was really bad for her until she turned 18 and she got emancipated, so it was really bad for her, and, um, so this TV show, basically, it has three seasons, and it just follows the entire, like, her bench like her revenge for family how she's planning it how she does it and she has and the people beside her it's it's very powerful I don't want to say too much but if I were you I'd watch it especially if you're into like the dramas and the thrillers because it describes itself as a thriller Wikipedia I don't know but yeah and so if you like those kind of shows, you should definitely watch it. I totally recommend it. It is the best show ever. I, it is on Netflix, and it is on its third season right now. It's on, like, the mid to later of the third season. And, and yeah, it's on Netflix. I know it's on Netflix. I've seen it. And so you guys should definitely check that out. Now, for my next TV favorite is a show. It's a really cute show. For my next TV favorite, now, it's kind of an iffy show. I have no idea if you guys will like it. I know there's plenty of fans of this TV show, but it's one of those kind of like country slash family slash kind of drama-ish slash um, family favorite thing. I don't know. And I'm not sure if you guys will like it. I love it. It's a really cute show to me, and um, it just, whenever I watch it, it brings up my mood. It boosts me up, and the show is Heart of Dixie. Now, Heart of Dixie is basically about a New Yorker. Her name is Zoe, or Zoe, and um, she goes to Alabama, and she, because she found out that um, her real father had died, when I say real father, I mean biological. It's a long story. But yeah, her real father died, and he was a doctor, and she's a doctor, and he left her, her his medical practice. And she chose to take the medical practice and work as a partner alongside um, his, his old partner, which was Brick Breland. And the reason why she agrees is because um, she, she was planning to become a surgeon, but... Her her career kind of got messed up because the person, like, someone told her that she didn't really have the heart to be a surgeon and she had to go back to family practice. And so the medical practice was a family practice that her real dad had left her. So she goes to Alabama and she pursues a new life there as the family doctor. And it's, and she has romantic entanglements yeah, and em so enemies and, and, um, yeah, and so... Basically, that's what it's about. I definitely recommend it. Okay. So good. It's on its third season right now. I think it's on its mid third season. And so those are basically two of my favorite TV shows that I have been into right now. It has been boosting me up. So many feels and all that. 
Now to my music favorites of March. Now I have been obsessed with two two songs recently and these are actually kind of like old songs. They're like they're not in right now like they're old but I love them. I've been obsessing over them and you know when you just find an old song and you just obsess over it even though it's really old. So yeah it's basically what I've been doing. So one of the songs is Nem by Linkin Park and it's such a good song. I think the genre is like metal. Metal? Yeah, it's metal. And it's really good. I love it. It just... I I listen to it when I work out. And it's such a good song to listen to. I will leave... I will leave the link down below to the lyrics video so you guys can check it out. Actually, I will leave like... Um, both song lyric videos in the down bar below so you guys can go check it out. And the second song I have been obsessing over is Home. Home by Edwin, Edward... Sharp and the Magnetic Zeros, and you know that song that goes Alabama, Arkansas. I do love my ma and pa. Yeah, that's the song, and I just it's so good. It's so good. Like it just it it has real it has a lot of feels around it, and so those are basically. Oh wait, no, that's not. I have been obsessed with two other songs, and the two other songs that that are new. They're new now. They're not old. Is Let It Go. You guys know what I'm talking about. Let It Go from Frozen by Edina Menzel. Yeah, that's her name. It's so good. Oh my god, I jam out to it so much. I'm like, it's just a really good song to sing along to, just to listen to. It has a very powerful meaning to it, and it's a very good one. And then the last song I have been obsessing over is Happy. You know, cause I'm happy, come along. Yeah, that one. And it's by Pharrell Williams. I will leave the links down to Let It Go and Happy in the down bar below too. And it's a, it just gets me pumped up actually. Like I love dancing to it. It's a really, it's a really good song to dance to. And last but not least, I have been listening to a lot of Kelly Clarkson lately. I don't know why. I, I love Kelly Clarkson. She's my all time favorite artist. And I listen to her when I'm doing my homework and stuff, and she's a really good person to listen to. I, I love all of her songs, old and new. She just, she just keeps getting better and better. And so that is it for my March slash general favorites video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys try out all my favorites from this month. And be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel because we will be making lots of new videos shortly. I hope we get to it actually. And so you should definitely subscribe to our channel if you aren't already. And that is it guys.